Hi, I'm Josh from Apt. Apt Electronics is an authorized Apple reseller. We've got a great variety of Apple computers. Maybe you've just purchased one from us, or maybe you're thinking about it. If you do or have, here's some tips on how you could better use your Mac. All right, so let's get started here with Finder. The Finder view used to have a whole bunch of favorites here in the left column, so you could easily access your Pictures folder, your Music folder, your Documents folder. Go to Finder Preferences, and then go to the sidebar option to just bring all those folders back. And that's it. Now you have quick access to all those folders and files. So you want to jump in your Pictures folder, you can just click Pictures and there you are. So that would be the Finder's sidebar option. But while we're here, under General, I'm going to show you something with General as hard disk is not checkmarked anymore. And for you longtime Mac users, you might be wondering, how come it doesn't say Macintosh HD in the upper right corner? Well, that's because you have to simply checkmark hard disks. And there it is, Macintosh HD. If I double click it, it opens a Finder window of the Macintosh HD. And there's those folders we just put back. But that's not it. I also want to go ahead and do one extra step here for that hard disk feature. I'm going to go into View, Show View Options. Because on my desktop, I want to see the item info. And now it's going to have it underneath the Macintosh HD when you do Show Item Info. But there's another problem here. I can't see it all. So I'm going to slide my uh, grid spacing all the way to the right. Now, you'll notice some of the icons kind of flew around on my desktop, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, you'll notice that my 250 gigabyte drive has 144.49 gigabytes free. And this is always updating for me. It's a great way to just get a quick spot check of the status of how much storage you've gobbled up. Now, my desktop itself is a little messy here, too. So, let's go ahead and get back into one of the options to clean that up. Under the Finders, and by the way, if it says Finder, that's because I'm not doing anything. If I was in a program, it'll say Safari up there. So just click on the desktop kind of anywhere up there. But there's an option to clean up by, and I could choose one of these options. If I choose Kind, it'll whip them all into shape. Now that's kind of a one-time shot. If I want, I can go into a View, Show View Options, and make sure that I have set sort by kind. So from now on, things will always be organized. If I create a new folder, it'll be organized right in there. It looks like sorting by kind puts folders in the upper right area. Anyway, so this is one way to quickly clean up that desktop. And if you just have way too much stuff on your desktop, you could select a whole bunch of stuff, and you could go to new folder with selection. And it's going to take those five selected items and boom, put it right in a folder for you. And I could t call that my desktop items if I wanted to quickly move all those files off my desktop. So those are some great options you have using uh, the ability to customize your view. There's one more real important thing. I'm going to open a Finder window and uh, let's get into some spot where we've got a whole bunch of information. I'm going to go into a folder that just has tons of stuff. Let's go into that system folder library. All right, so here we go. The reason why I'm here is I want to see a big list of stuff. And as you may know, Finder shows you stuff by folders, a list. You've got these uh, columns to browse through, and the, the quick look feature is pretty cool. But anyway, um, one of the reasons I came here is because by default, under Finder's show view options, this calculate all size button is turned off. And a lot of us are struggling with, where have I gobbled up the most space? Where are my giant files? If I were to go into a Finder view, like I have right here behind us, where you have all this stuff, and this could be your music folder, this could be your pictures folder, and all these size, the size column are not populated until you calculate all sizes. Some computers, like you just saw it pop right up because I had it previously checkmarked, but some computers it'll start empty. And then it'll slowly build up, we'll su we'll, where suddenly you'll see the gigabytes or megabytes or kilobytes filling in until it's all done. And then you can click the word size to organize from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. And you can say, oh boy, the Frameworks file is 1.69 gigabytes. Let's go look in there. Maybe there's something I should delete. Well, not these files. I'm just using that as an example. But that's it. Those are some great tips to make your Mac experience a little better.